Hello, my friends. It's time for us to read another book today. The book that we're going to read today is from one of my favorite series. It's from an elephant and piggy book series. Let's see. The title of the book is A Big Guy Took My Ball. A Big Guy Took My Ball by Mo Willems. Mo Willems is the person who wrote the story. What do we call the person who writes the story? The author. Very good, my friends. Let's see. This book has parts just like all the other books. Let's see. What do we call this part of the book? The front cover. Very good. How about this part of the book? The back cover. And this right here is the spine. What does the spine do? The spine holds the pages together. Very good, my friends. All right, let's open the first page. Here's some pictures. I think those are the pictures of the balls. And there's a title again here. A big guy took my ball. And who is saying that? The piggy is saying that. Oh my goodness, a big guy. Is that nice when someone takes someone's balls without asking? That's not very nice. So let's find out what happened. Gerald! That's Gerald right here. And the piggy is saying, Gerald! I found a big ball. And it was so fun. And then a big guy came and, 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 and what do you think happened, my friends? Do you think he took his ball? Let's see. And he took my ball. What is the piggy doing right here? That's right, my friends. He's crying really, really hard. I'm so upset. See, the piggy has broken heart right here. Oh my goodness. He's so sad someone took his ball. Who took his ball? A big guy. Was it a small ball or a big ball, he said. He said he found a big ball and he was playing with it and it was so fun. That is not good. That is not right. Who is saying that? Gerald. Big guys have all the fun. What about the little guys? How's he feeling right here? He feels angry, so if he's so upset about this, what do you think he's going to try and do? Do you think because he's so upset, he might go to the big guy and try to take the ball away? Maybe, let's find out if that happens. What makes those big guys think they're so big? Their, their size? Hmm. I mean, they are big guys. Well, I'm big too. Does he look big too, guys? He is kind of big, so Pig is small and Gerald is much bigger. I will get you a big ball from that big guy. Do you think he will be able to get that ball from the big guy? Let's see. I'm not sure. My hero. That's what Piggy is thinking, that Gerald is being his hero. Here I go. Let's see how big this big guy is. He's really just determined and he's kind of frustrated. He's going to show this big guy if he thinks. Oh, oh my goodness. So this guy is really big. Do you know what animal that is? That's a whale. And what does he have? A ball. Wait a minute. Do you think Gerald will be able to take the ball away from this whale? Oh, let's see. How does Gerald feel now? He looks a little bit scared of this guy. This guy's just standing saying nothing. Did you get my ball back? 
this is this is a big guy. You didn't say how big he was. He's very big. So Gerald thought he was big, but this big guy turned out to be much, much bigger. He's bigger than I am. Much bigger. See, he's showing much bigger. So before we thought Gerald was big, but is Gerald big compared to that big guy, the whale? He's not so big anymore, right, my friends? He looks kind of tiny. I am smaller than he is. Much smaller. Look, much, much smaller. So he's showing he's right here, but I'm right here. And Gerald thought he was a big guy. He's so biggy, biggy, big. Gerald, you did not get my ball, ball back, did you? Did he, my friends? Did he get his ball back? Uh, I did not. Look at Gerald. How do you think he feels right now because he didn't get the ball back? He looks like he feels kind of embarrassed a little bit. And he feels bad to tell that to Piggy that he didn't get his ball back. Oh, poor Gerald. It's not his fault. He's just small compared to the big guy. Excuse me? <gasps> Who do you think is saying that from up there? Do you think it could be the big guy? Because the words are so big and loud. Excuse me? <clears throat> Thank you for finding my little ball. Well, not the ball really looks little, but remember Piggy said it was a big ball. Why do you think Piggy thought the ball was big, but whale thinks the ball is small. How come? That is your ball? A and you think it's little? <laughs> Look at Piggy, he's showing little. Because for Piggy, little is this much. Well, I am big. He is big. So big that no one will play with me. So he's so sad that no one would play with him. Do you think he's a bad guy? My friends, it looks like he's just a very sad guy, not bad guy. That was his ball. <gasps> Little guys have all the fun. Look, and Piggy and Gerald are looking at each other. Uh, um, big guy, would you like to play whale ball with us? So what are Gerald and Piggy doing right now? That's right, they are asking if the whale would like to play with them. Why do you think they're doing that? I think it's because they are trying to be good friends and they don't want the whale to feel sad. What is whale ball? Is that the whale? We do not know. We have not made it up yet. So, so that's just a made up game. With a little help, we can all have big fun. Oh, wow. Look at them all playing together. And that's the end. So my friends, I think this book was about two things. The first thing it talked about is how all things are relative. Some things might seem big to us, but to someone who is much bigger, they might seem small. Like the piggy thought the ball was big, but when the whale was holding it, the ball seemed so small, but it was the same ball. Another thing this book talked about is that some people 
might seem unfriendly, like the whale seemed like a big bully guy, right? But was he really bad and mean? He wasn't. He was just very sad and he didn't have any friends to play with. And Piggy and Elephant decided to offer him some help and they decided to make him his friend and play with him. And it turned out great. Everyone was happy in the end. And I think, my friends, that's what we all should try to do. We should try to friend people that might seem unfriendly in the beginning. This is everything for today. Thank you for listening and being good listeners. I will see you next time, my little readers.